The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. Now we're ready to look at diffraction by thin fibers or wires, opposite to uh, slits. The setup is essentially very simple. We even took out the lens that we had here, so the, the, the laser beam can go directly onto, onto these wires. So if we take a close look at what we have here, we have just uh, uh, four, four wires that I can just put in the way of the, uh, of the laser beam, and then we, on the, on the screen, then we can see the associated diffraction pattern. So let's start with the, with, the thickest, with the thickest wire. So here is, as you can see on the screen, here is the, the diffraction pa pattern associated with this wire. And what you can see, uh, well, first of all, let me remind you that we have the, the little circles there, which are the five centimeter markers, so you get a feel for, for the spacing. Again, the distance between the wire and the screen is 200 centimeters and the wavelength of the laser is uh, 6328 uh, angstroms. The, um, I'm not going to tell you the diameter of the wire because I'm going to uh, let you work that out for yourself. Uh, but first you want to look at the diffraction pattern. When you can see, it looks very similar to the single slit diffraction pattern except for the blob in the, in the center. And the blob in the center is a little complicated, uh, but I can attenuate the, the laser beam. And you can see that it is pretty bright because it's essentially it is the laser beam. And so it's very difficult to get information uh, from it. The information is, is hidden in the, in the lobes on the sides, in the spacing uh, between them, because that will be then related to the diameter of the of the wire. So then for the our thickest uh, wire, we see this kind of uh, pattern, this kind of spacing. Now, let me move on to wire number two, which is thinner. Here's wire, here's wire number two, and, and we can see that, uh, first of all, there's less, less light in the wings because the, the, uh, the wire is thinner, so we don't see as many uh, side lobes. And, uh, and then again, you'll see this blob in the uh, ugly blob in the center, but the information is in the, in the lobes on the side. And you can see them very clearly, and you can see their spacing very clearly. Now, let me go on to wire number three, which is again thinner still. And maybe here we can uh, zoom in a little bit so that we can see it a little bit better. And again, you can see the central spot is a little messy, but the uh, information, as I said before, is in the, in the fringes on the, uh, on the side. Now here again, if I reduce the laser intensity, you see what the central fringe looks like. And as I bring it up, we'll see the rest of the fringe. Now finally, I'm going to go to my thinnest wire which is over here. And now we may have to zoom out a little bit so that we can see the spacing. And maybe we can increase the sensitivity a little bit because there isn't all that much light. So we can see good. Now we can see the separation between the, uh, the fringes in the, in the wings. So I hope you've been uh, watching carefully uh, the spacing between the, between the fringes so that you can uh, come up with the diameter of the individual, individual wires. Now, this is, uh, brings me to the end of the one-dimensional Fraunhofer diffraction patterns. Next, what we're going to do is look at two-dimensional Fraunhofer diffraction patterns. And I assure you they're even more fun than the one-dimensional.